Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Chromebook for Java programming with VS Code. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go over to your launcher here, click on your launcher, and go to Settings. Okay, you want to open up your settings, and on the left-hand side here, scroll on down to Advanced, and then click on Advanced, and that should expand the tab, and then click on Developers. You then want to turn on the Linux development environment, so you can click Turn On. Let me just show you that again. So you go here, Linux development environment in Developers, click Turn On, then click Next. It'll give you a username based off of your email, you can change it now. I don't think you can change it later once you install the Linux development environment. Of course, you can delete the Linux development environment and then change it, but I would make sure it's something you want uh, upfront. And then you also have this di disk size here, which you can change at a later point. I'm gonna leave the recommended size for now. I'm gonna click install, and that's gonna go ahead and take a few minutes to install. So once that's done, I'll come on back. Okay. After a few minutes, a terminal will pop up. We can then close out our settings. I'll expand the terminal and increase the size so that you can see what I'm doing. And first off, I want to make sure everything is up to date. So to do that, I'm going to type sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag to answer yes to any additional space the upgrade may take. I'm going to let that run and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once everything is run through, we're ready to install Java. Now you could install Java by typing sudo apt install and then default dash JDK. But one thing I like to install it or a way I like to install the most recent version is to open up a browser and search for Amazon Coretta. And I'm going to go here to this web page, and at the time of the recording, the latest uh, stable or long-term support version is Amazon Coretto 17. You see there's an Amazon Coretto 20, but that's a non-long-term support. I'm going to pick 17. If you do install it with sudo apt install default dash JDK, you're going to get uh, version 11. Okay. So I'm going to go here to this top one here, and this it works for Chromebooks that are AMD or Intel based, and I'm going to download this link. That'll take a few moments, so once that's downloaded, I'll come on back. Once that's downloaded, I can go to my Downloads folder here in the Files app, so I'm going to go to my Downloads, and you'll see this Java 17 Amazon Coretto.dev file. I'm going to right click and then click Install with Linux. It's going to load up some information. I'll click Install and OK. And I'll let that run ahead and install and come on back once that's OK. Now that we have Java installed, we can open our terminal back up and we can prepare to install VS Code. I'm first going to just clear out this stuff. And one thing that VS Code recommends when installing it on a Chromebook is to install the GNOME keyring. So to do that, I'm going to type sudo apt install gnome dash keyring and hit enter. It's going to ask me to take a little additional space. I'm going to type Y and enter. Okay, once that's gone ahead and installed, I can exit out of my terminal by typing exit and then just closing the terminal window here. And now I can open up a new tab and search for VS Code. So I'm just going to type VS Code and the site that comes up should be code.visualstudio.com. I'll click on that. And for me, I have, again, an AMT, uh, AMD slash Intel based Chromebook. I have a processor. It's actually an Intel in this one, but it works on AMD as well. I'm going to download this .dev file. That's going to take a moment to download, so I'll come on back once that's Once the .dev file is downloaded, I'm going to click on my files app here and then click on Downloads. And I'm going to right click and click Install with Linux on the .dev file for VS Code. That'll go out and fetch some information. I'll click Install and OK. And I'll come on back once it's installed. 
Once VS Code is downloaded and installed, I'll go over to my launcher over here, and you'll see here that I have the VS Code icon here. Sometimes you'll find it in the Linux apps. It's kind of random. Uh, I'm gonna right click on it and click pin to shelf. But before I do that, if you don't find it, just search for VS Code and it'll pop up. So I'll pin it to the shelf here just because I'm gonna be using a lot. And then I'll right click on VS Code and I can close this browser window as well. When you first open VS Code, this welcome screen will pop up. You can run through that if you wish. I'm just gonna click Mark Done, and then I'm gonna have the standard welcome screen. That's fine, I'm gonna maximize this. And let's create a folder, and we'll just create, we'll click on Open Folder here. And what I'm gonna do is just create a folder and let's just call it Java. And I'm going to open the folder. VS Code is going to ask me if I trust the authors of the files in this folder. I'm going to say yes. Close out the welcome screen. I'll go over here and I'll create a file. Let's call this hello world.java and I'll hit enter. Okay, so I'm going to move this up here and you're going to see that VS Code will ask you if you want to install the recommended extension pack for Java extension from Microsoft. I'm going to say yes by clicking install. And if you don't find this, you can always go down to your extensions and search for extension pack for Java by Microsoft. That's going to run ahead and install, so come on back once that's done. Once the extension pack is installed, you'll see that it does give you the option to install a JDK and so on and so forth. We already have that installed. So let's create a Hello World program and make sure everything is working. Okay, so let's do public class and then we'll do Hello World. And in here, we'll just start to type main, and you see it gives us this auto suggestion here. I'm gonna hit tab, and that auto generates all this code here, public, static, void, main, string, square brackets, and arcs, okay? So now we can do this out and hit tab, and we get system.out.println, so you'll already see this VS Code extension pack is giving us some uh, great, great uh, shortcuts. And so I'll just type something like, hello, my name is Tim. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I can click on this play button here to run. And we see, hello, my name is Tim. Okay, now you'll see when we run this, it doesn't output the hello world uh, dot class file. You can do that with just Java C and then start to type hello world in the terminal here and you'll get hello world.java. Okay, and now it creates this .class file if you wanna do it this way. But you can also just run your programs here to test them out. So at this point, you're all set up to begin programming in Java on a Chromebook using VS Code.